we're going to be doing is we're going to be explaining a practical where we're going to be making an insoluble salt. That doesn't that have a special name, Miss McLaren? Yes, you are so right, Dr. Bourne. That method of making this insoluble salt is known as precipitation. Mm -hmm. So let's begin. Right, what we have to do, Dr. Bourne, is we have to have two solutions. Okay, the first one is lead nitrate. And we know that that's a soluble salt because of the nitrate, and all nitrates are soluble. And we're going to be adding it to sodium sulfate. So what we'll do is we'll use a small volume of both of the solutions, and then we're going to add them together. So let's pour out approximately 25 ml. Abra, abracadabra. Now, if you notice, there has been a reaction. Can you see it looks as if it's a milky mixture? Now, look closely. That milky mixture is made up of a white solid and a colourless liquid. Now, here's one we've prepared earlier. So you can see in this one that the... Well, I hope you can see. I'll hold it up a bit closer that the solid has separated out at the bottom and you can see the colourless liquid at the top. But if you can't see that, don't worry, because we are going to separate them. And what would be the best method of separating those, Ms. McLaren? Well, as you mentioned in a previous practical, we're going to use a process of filtration. Aha! Luckily, we have the filtration apparatus to hand, which, as you know, is the conical flask, the filter funnel, filter funnel with a folded piece of filter paper in the top. So all we have to do, hold that in place, is pour our mixture into the top. Easy. Now just let me explain well is filtering through. So the reaction that's happening is we have lead to nitrate, we're adding it to sodium sulfate solution, both are solutions, and they swap partners, and now we have lead to sulfate and sodium nitrate solution. Now the lead to sulfate is an insoluble solid, which means we can separate it by filtration. And once we have actually separated your lead to sulphate, then we then wash the solid with distilled water. Dr. Paul, why do you think we'd wash the solid with distilled water? We'd wash the solid with distilled water because we want to remove the other soluble salt product which will be attached to the solid product. We Perfect. Want to get rid of that. So what we want to do now is we have our solid in here, although it's still in the process of filtering, and we're going to actually, once it's filtered through, we will then wash it with distilled water, and then we will actually allow it to dry on the filter paper, or we can transfer to a dish in a warm place, and we produce pure dry lead to sulfate. Well, that's fantastic, Miss McLaren. I think we could say, easy peasy, lemon, lemon squeezy. squeezy.